that day I'll never forget. It was it was the most surreal day. It was one of the worst days, obviously, ever. Um, but in a in a weird way, just the love and the support I got that day from so many people, I'll remember that part of the day too. And it was equally special as it was tragic. A tragedy felt around the world, but especially by the Altobelli family. Jean and his wife, Carrie, along with their daughter, Alyssa, were all lost in the crash nearly a year ago. Can you tell me how the morning of January 26th, one year ago, unfolded for you? It was a foggy day that day, but I just kind of wanted to get outside the house. And and, uh, my oldest brother, Jim, sent me a a text message. And uh, it was, did you hear about Kobe? So I, I texted some of the coaches and I said, have you guys heard anything about what happened today? And is, have you heard from John or anything? And um, about five seconds later, I got a call from uh, one of our assistant coaches and he was absolutely despondent. He was in tears and all he could tell me was they were all gone. Called my brother back and told him what happened. I asked him to call my dad. Uh, I just I didn't have the heart to do it, so I made him do it. Um, I reached out to my sisters and I went over to Orange Coast uh, to make sure that our players were okay. The only thing I knew what to do was was open up the field and let all the guys come there and you know we could at least be together and then that turned into a, a huge school gathering, community gathering, alumni gathering. I mean there, there were a lot of people out there on Sunday and it was it was good. I wanted to be there and, and help out our school as much as I could. It was it was my job but at the same time it also helped me compartmentalized and, and kind of grief uh, in my own way by, by just keeping busy and helping and helping people out. Time has begun to heal some of the wounds from that day for those close to the Alto Bellies, but emotions can still be raw upon reflection. Do you have a favorite memory? The most recent one is, is winning the state championship in 2019. Galicia chopped over, this might do it. Throw home. OCC, your champion in 2019. Having that be his last year and that's his last game and he goes out on top like, <laughs> um, that's that's a pretty cool memory, you know, to to be um, to be a part of that team and then a part of that. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> um, to be a part of that that very last game uh, and him go out a a winner is definitely my best memory. Those memories will last forever. And even amidst the terrible loss suffered, the Altabelli family feels a sense of gratitude for the kindness shown to them. The outpouring of support and love that we've received throughout this whole ordeal is is mind blowing. And that's, that's really touched my heart over this time, so. On behalf of my family, to everybody out there, thank you. Thank you for all the love and support.